What's going on everybody? Mike O back with a mail day recap. Hopefully everyone's having a great Memorial Day weekend. Hopefully you're having a chance to hang out with friends and family, make some memories together. That's what uh that's what it's all about, guys. So I got some stuff that came in in the last week. I got some stuff in from Tops, uh, some Tops Inception pickups, and an eBay purchase. So going to get right into it. First now is one of the Tops Now cards I purchased that arrived, and it's a Mike Trout. Youngest in MLB history to reach 150 homers and stolen bases. Very cool. Uh, you guys have seen me buy a lot of the Tops Now product. Really like it. Just think it's a... Uh, very cool opportunity to get cool cards that you wouldn't usually get, and you get them really quick rather than waiting a year for a release. So very nice Mike Trout here. Very cool. Also picked up a Phillies card. I always pick up the Phillies Tops Now cards. I just put them in my binder with my Tops team set. And they made one of Aaron Altair. Hits a three-run homer in three straight games. Altair was on a absolute terror there for a while and he's still playing well he's having a really good year this is a guy who's just continued to get better at every level and there were high hopes for him last season and unfortunately he broke his wrist uh during spring training last season and you know really didn't get a chance to recover uh got very limited playing time last year and just didn't do a whole lot with it but he was the first philly to accomplish his feat since mike schmidt back in 1981 so uh very cool pickup been debating as to whether I want to send one of these TTM. He's a great signer through the mail, but uh, obviously these cards cost a little bit more. They're like five, six bucks a piece uh, when you buy a bulk order of them. So that's a little more than you know your standard quarter, fifty cent card. But very cool tops now pickup. Now we're gonna get into the tops inception cards, and then I'll show you uh, a slabbed card I bought on eBay the other day. Top's Inception has taken off. A lot of products this year have taken off. Bowman. Um, it's just baseball products seem to be really popular right now, whether it's the glut of amazing young talent or just more collectors getting into it or just great products. But uh, Top's Inception is beautiful this year. Absolutely um, amazing looking product. It's a thicker stock, fantastic design. Um, you know, a box is only one pack, seven cards, one hit. But uh, they came out at like four, mid 40s. I saw them. Uh, Tops.com was selling them for 50. They sold out immediately, and now they're at least 65 a box. In some cases, 70 a box. But uh, beautiful looking cards. Uh, kind of a glossy finish here and a matte finish in the back. This is the Mikel Franco blue parallel numbered to 25. Picked this up in a lot. Uh, so I guess I sort of have the team set here, Phillies. Here's the regular standard Franco. Just, like I said, beautiful looking cards. Got a Vince Velasquez green. The green parallels are not numbered. Very nice. Uh, Velasquez has great talent. Hasn't necessarily put it all together yet, but nice to see him in a product finally. He's kind of gotten the shaft from tops a lot. Here is the green Franco, so got a pile of the different Francos, got three of them right there, but they're just, I've said it over and over again, I keep repeating myself, but these are just beautiful um, cards. The design is outstanding. And here is Aaron Nola, so very nice. I mean, I guess my only complaint about this product is I kind of wish the boxes came with more cards. Um... And therefore, it'd be a little more affordable um, in terms of overall card value. But, I mean, you know, you don't get a whole lot uh, of cards in a box, of course. So, it'd be kind of hard to make a set. So, I picked up a whole bunch of the Jorge Alfaro rookie card autographs and uh, have some more coming. Had bid on some and ended up winning some. But here's one of the uh, ones numbered to 199 uh, Alfaro is down in AAA right now, having a really good year. Should be called up uh, at some point this year, probably later in the year. Has a real chance to be a, an all-star caliber player. So uh, figured grab some of them based on the cost of this product and the prices they were going for. It wasn't too bad, so I figured I'd take a shot. So that's one of them. This is uh, number to 99. Hopefully it focuses up there. But, uh, yeah, Alfaro was acquired in the Cole Hamels trade. So uh, he was up for a cup of coffee last uh, September. Um, didn't get a whole lot of playing time. 
All right, and the final Alfaro is the red version, numbered to 75. I was uh, bidding and making offers on, I think, one of the ones numbered to 50, and I think there's a 25. But uh, very cool cards, and uh, hopefully if Alfaro comes up and plays well, you know, we'll see his stuff uh, maybe take off a little bit if he can uh, prove himself and be part of the next great Phillies run. But, you know, we'll see. Long way till that. On uh, the final autograph I got, I picked up a Jake Thompson. Jake Thompson, he... Uh, he hasn't had a whole lot of success in the big leagues to this point. He's another guy that came over with Alfaro in the Hamels trade. But uh, I think he has a chance to be a good big league pitcher. Uh, he may have to eventually move to the bullpen to be more effective. We'll see, though. But this is a cool-looking card. And, you know, always pick up uh, all the Phillies autos uh, when I can, especially we can get them pretty cheap, as I did with this one. All right, so that's my uh, Topps Inception pickups in the Tops Now. The final card I picked up... Um, wouldn't, wouldn't expected it from a Phillies fan, but got it at a good price. This is a uh, PSA DNA certified and slabbed Matt Harvey auto out of 2016 tops. And, uh, you know, really good price on it. I know Harvey's been, uh, you know, he's been struggling a little bit on and off the field. Let me uh, focus this up real quick. I'm going to put this on manual. There we go. Um, yeah, Harvey's been struggling a little bit, but this is a cool-looking card. Nice auto. Uh, don't have anything of him, so worst-case scenario, I'll keep it for the collection. And uh, it's one of those that I would consider moving. I would consider trading it for a player, uh, another player that I need that I like better, or something like that. So, you know, I figured it was uh, an investment that wasn't, uh, wasn't exactly too... Uh, too expensive to turn down. So that's it, guys. Comment below. Let me know what you think of the pickups. You guys do any tops inception? If so, what do you think? How'd you do on your breaks? And uh, let me know. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time. Have a great one.